beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I'm going to read a story about a bird. Can you guess what kind? If you guessed an owl, you were right. It's a very tiny owl. He looks big on the, on the picture. But he's very small, actually. About this tall. Very tiny. And he's called the screech owl. And they don't screech. They make a hooting sound. I forget what it sounds like, but it's very different. It's not what you think. And I don't know why he's called the screech owl, but he is. Screech Owl at Midnight Hollow by C. Drew Lamb. And the illustrations were done by Joel Snyder. Something mysterious is happening in the backyard of the Yellow House at Midnight Hollow. One March night, seven earthworms, two garter snakes, several grasshoppers, and a deer mouse disappear from the garden. The next night, four frogs, one crayfish, and three trout disappear from the stream. By the fifth day, seven songbirds, 14 beetles, 22 moths, a dozen grasshoppers, six crickets, and five meadow voles have all vanished. I wonder why. What could have happened? Huh. I think I know why now. There are other clues too. Noises. Deep night noises. First there were peeps. Then there were squeaks. Then wild chatters followed by hums. Two owls sit stone still in a sycamore tree above the stream. Beside them, in a cavity, cavity is like not the kind in your teeth, a hole in the tree. In a cavity made by a flicker, which is a woodpecker, huddle their five noisy nestlings, the noisemakers. Oh, look at the baby owls, baby screech owls. Now, you wouldn't think that a Woodpecker could peck a hole big enough for baby owls, but remember the screech owl is very tiny. So their babies are probably very, very tiny. During the day, mother and father screech owl look, they look like the bark. They just blend in, camouflage. When a cat stalks the yard, they close their yellow eyes. stretch tall and thin and blend in with the tree. They sleep waiting for the sun to set. Once the sun sails under the horizon, once the back porch light flicks on, mother and father screech owl begin to stir. Why do they wait for nighttime? Do you remember? Owls are nocturnal. They come out at night and sleep in the daytime. At, as night falls, a quivering trill weaves through the trees. It slides down, down from the sycamore tree. Mice shiver with fright. Ooh, they're scared. They know what's happening. Father Screech Owl floats to the garden on silent wings. On rainy nights, she stalks through the puddles, sucking up worms. Hmm. When they fly, they're silent. Their wings are silent. They don't even make a flapping noise because their wings have a lot of um, fuzzy little hairs on them that helps keep the wind from making that, uh, or the air when it goes through their wings from making a flapping sound, so they're silent. They have to be silent. Tonight, he perches above the stream, searching for a bite of frog or a crunch of crayfish, he watches the porch light for moths. A mouse scurries by, he lunges with his talons and swallows it whole. Silent predator. 
This might, this mighty hunter weighs less than one large apple. He is no bigger than three tennis balls. Remember I said about this high? That's about three tennis balls and he only weighs as much as an apple. Above him, high in the sycamore tree, Mother Screech Owl waits with the nestlings. The owlets, that's what baby owls are called, owlets, are always hungry. Their nest is littered with bones. Bones of snakes, mice, frogs, fish, birds, and voles. In the owl's stomachs, these bones are packed tight into tiny pellets. When screech owls cough, they cough bones, feathers, and fur. So they eat the little animals whole, and then their body digests them and leaves the bones into a little tight little packet. And then they cough, like when, you, when you're sick and you throw up, and they cough, cough, and out comes a little packet of bones. Pretty cool, called an owl pellet. Father returns home with fresh piles of moths, spiders, mice, and frogs. Mother tears off pieces and feeds these bites to the nestlings. In between feeding, she bathes in the backyard bird bath while Father Screech Owl watches over the nestlings. So it looks like the mother and the father both take care of the babies. On the sixth day, the owlets start shivering. The nest is all shivers, and then the yawning begins. I think they're getting tired and sleepy. First one yawns, then another, and another shivers and yawns. I wonder why, let's find out. In a little over a week, they are covered by a new coat of feathers. I guess that's what they're doing. They shiver to get their baby feathers off, and then they grow different feathers. They stop shivering and they stop their crazy yawns, but their mouths are still wide open, begging for food. Oh, they've changed. By the end of the third week, their eyes are open. A nest of lemon moons. Look at all their eyes. Let's count the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could also count by twos. You ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Five baby owlets have ten eyes between them all. By the fourth week, they scramble out of the tree. They sit side by side on a branch. Parents drop whole mice into their gaping mouths. A few nights later, the largest owlet tries her first flight. The owlet teeters on the branch and then plummets to the ground. She scrambles to her toes. She digs her talons into the tree bark and skitters back up to the branch, more like a cat than an owl. Her fluttering catches the attention of a great horned owl. <gasps> Ooh. She'd be easy to pluck from the sycamore branch, a delicious dinner, so a bigger owl might eat a smaller owl for dinner. A delicious dinner. He aims for her. A twig pops as he pushes off from the branch, and Mother Screech Owl snaps her head around. She catches his flight with her sharp eyes. She hurls towards him. He veers for her instead. Mother Screech Owl catapults away from the sycamore tree, away from her baby owlet. The large owl plunges straight for her. Oh, I'm scared, are you scared? Mother Screech Owl shoots through a snarl of branches. She weaves and dives. She skitters on air. She's small and slips through branches that catch the larger owl. Her wing beat is wild and her flight is jerky. Hmm. 
Do you think she'll be successful in scaring him away? Branches slap the great horned owl as he flies after Mother Screech Owl. Wind from his wings ripples her feathers. Talons slice through the air. She has to protect her babies. The night is silent. Then a triumph, Trill, slides down through the trees behind the yellow house. Up in the sycamore tree, 14 lemon moons blink. Gee, now there's 14. Let's count the owls. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the father owl and five owlets. That would make 12 eyes. But then when mother comes, that 12 plus two more makes 14. The screech owl family is safe for tonight. The great horned owl flies home hungry. Mother and father screech owls stretch. Another owlet tries his first flight. One night soon, all of the owlets will fly and they will snatch their own mice from the backyards of Midnight Hollow. The end. Now, today I have a fun activity that you can do at home. You can make an owl. And I'm going to send you this through email. It's a, called a template. And you can cut this out and trace on another piece of paper a different color if you'd like. I made mine out of kind of a greenish color decided to make my owl green and then you would need a dark piece of paper you don't have to have a dark piece of paper but I thought it might be cool because it will look like nighttime and you glue with your glue stick the owl shape of his body or her body onto the blue then you take an empty egg carton it has to be the paper kind. If you don't have an egg carton, you can make your owl's eyes and your owl's beak out of anything that you want. So I cut out two of the egg holders and I left the piece in the middle because it looks like a nose, a beak. And then you would glue it right on like that. And then I have googly eyes, but you don't have to have Google, googly eyes. You can paint your own eyes or colored paper inside for eyes. You can take an orange marker and color the beak with an orange marker, or you can paint it. And then you can take newspaper and cut feather shapes or pieces of paper to glue on for his feathers. If you don't have newspaper, or if you have both, you can use a piece of a paper bag and just cut shapes. I'll make some more. There's my timer. And glue them on. And then if you want, you can glue on a stick for him to sit on and pretend it's the sycamore branch. That's all for today, boys and girls. I hope you have fun making an owl. Bye.